have an, we had music. Can you play for me a song? There is no burn. Now I'm going to pray for young people. Heaven. You know what? Let me put on my black shirt. Do you want me to stay like this? I put on my black shirt. It won't be easy. Let me come. I'm done with that official. That's my official video. There is no bondage. I'll encourage the youth. Yes. Let me encourage the youth. Colossians 1 13. Are we sure? Yeah. Well, next time we'll do it together. And if you love. Maybe we have to do our business now. See how we are enjoying ourselves. That song. That song. There is no bondage. Sing it. Every chain is broken. And no guilt. And no shame. All my pain erased. There is no bondage. That one. And our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom and power. Lord, my God is an awesome, oh my God, He's an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with It's a bit. Oh, that song is there. So we're going to have speakers when the girls come here. I'm giving you the feel. We have speakers. Start now? Yes, yeah, start with it. You free me. There is no bondage. Every chain is broken. There is no bondage. She 
Jesus was as broken in no guilt, in no shame. All my pain erased. There is no bondage. Every chain is broken. Hey. Hallelujah. Today I come to speak to every young girl. I came to speak to that woman. I came to speak to that young mother. Today is your day. I came for you today to tell you that there is no bondage, that every chain is broken, that there is no guilt, that all the shame has been erased. Your record is, has been changed. There is no bondage. Hallelujah. Hmm. His amazing love That's so free and There is no bondage Every chain is broken There is no bondage Jesus so hard No shame in all my pain erase. There is no bondage. Every chain is broken. There is no bondage. And every chain is broken. And no guilt. And no shame. In all your pain erased. Hi, today I came to speak to you. You are a precious vessel of honor. You are a peculiar people. You are not a prostitute. You are not wicked. You are not a devil's agent. You are not a drug addict. You are not a thief. You are not bad. You are good. Not because I say so, but because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. Because of what the Lord did on the cross. Because of what God says about you. You have been kept in a cage for years. You have been caged, caged for years. You have been in a spiritual prison. You have been in a physical prison. You have been in a prison where Satan decided, keep her there, torment her there, shame her there, strip her naked, make her do things she doesn't want to do. There is no bondage. Every chain is broken. There is no bondage. There is no spiritual slavery anymore. There is no bondage. You are a seed of light. There is no bondage. You are a pillar of light. There is no bondage. You are no longer a sinner. You are a seed of light. You are a child of God. You belong to Adonai. You belong to Jehovah. You belong to everlasting God. You will never be used anymore by demons. You will never be used anymore by witches. You will never be used anymore by the false Christ. You will never be used anymore by the... You will never, never remain in guilt. Receive this message. You are precious vessel of honor. You are precious vessel of honor. My name is Rachel Gayla. I love to sing for Jesus. I love to act. I love to teach. But, but, because of what I went through as a child, abuse was not enough. Rejection was not enough. Guilt was not enough. Misery was not enough. Being abused by my husband was not enough. 
Have you ever slept with a man who has a knife under the pillow? Have you ever slept with a man who has a gun under the pillow? Have you ever been taken into the waters being beaten by animals? Have you ever been tormented? Have you ever been called a demon? Have you ever been stripped naked? Have you ever been called cuckoo or insane? Has somebody labeled you something? I'm here to announce that that is not you. That was a different woman. That was another girl. That was Jezebel. That was demons. That was not Rachel Gala. That was not you, Sarah. That was not you, Ruth. That was not you, Mercy. That was not you, Grace. That was not you, Harriet. That was not you, Margaret. That was not you. You are a son of God. You are a seed of light. I come to announce to you that I carry truth that is wrapped in love. I carry a truth that I've tested and seen that innocent as I was, he served me. And after he served me, told me, because I love you. That's the way I love every sinner. That's the way I love every prostitute. That's the way I love every murderer. That's the way I love the drug addicts. That's the way I love the wicked. That's the bad man. God is so good. But the devil has tested that Jesus is not a joke. He saves people from sin. It is a secret I'm going to reveal to you today. Go with me to the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. This message is going out to every child of God who is crying. Yeah. I told my friend today, one day you'll meet her. I told her, I stopped crying. I cried, I gave up. And my sister in Uganda said, hey, I'm crying. He said, Rachel, how long are you going to cry? We have prayed. We are tired to pray for you. Hey, we have sung songs. We are done. We have prayed. We are tired. How long are you going to weep? How long? Satan spoke to me, told me, go start drinking alcohol. He told me, now, you see you're fearful. You have to have someone in your bed all the time. People, once you know who you are, even if, if he whispers, you will not obey. If you know that you're a precious vessel of honor, you're out of a cage by this word. Now, I'm speaking to children of God who belong to Jesus' family but are still crying because they tell you, you are this, 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 you are, you have so many titles in hell. When will you come out? Today is the day. Colossians 1.13 says, Let me start from nine. I don't want to excite you. Because I want you to understand that when you receive G oh, let's start from John 8. Yeah, because I don't want people to say, oh, Rachel, why are you saying that? Yeah, you are precious. God loves you. He does not call you that. God calls you a good person. He calls you peculiar. He calls you blessed. He calls you loved. Let me start from John 8. And I'll go to a little bit of Genesis. And I'm going to wind up with Colossians so we understand where we're coming from. I don't want to excite you and say, mm -hmm. I come with truth. I'm loaded with truth. This was a prostitute. There is a movie, a play I acted. It's called The Power of Love. And I got this theme right here. And I'm going to explain to you little by little what I mean. Today, you are precious vessel of honor. You are redeemed. And you are not in a cage. Why? Because Christ died to set you free. And because you know the word of truth. John chapter 8 and verses 31. 
in 17 minutes we should be done or 21 minutes or 26 hallelujah he says you know he had met a prostitute this girl was suffering with these men maybe she was looking for food for her children maybe there was a situation and so she bumps into the messiah and the messiah all of us know that story now nah, all born again know that story but there's something they don't see let me show you therefore he told this woman sin no more now sin was the cage jesus redeems this woman from the cage called sin and brings her out of sin then he tells this woman do not sin again you are free if you want to know what sin is go to exodus 20. go to exodus 20 galatian 5. you know what sin is that means she's not in a cage she has been saved from the cage i want to announce to you that from the moment you say jesus is my lord and savior you're saved in the spirit you are now in the soul you may not believe it someone continue to call you this and that but you are saved now let me show you that is the cage he's talking about now i want you to see galatians chapter 5 verse 1. the song we sang says there is no bondage every chain is broken no guilt and no shame all your pain has been erased he says he forgives your sins and he does not remember them anymore therefore no one should remind you of that you're redeemed by the blood and the word of god galatians chapter 5 this is for every girl that is in a cage the cages i used to be with were beyond human understanding galatians chapter 5 chapter 5 and verses 1 i'm going to show you what paul said hallelujah and then we're going to wind up with colossians chapter 1 in verses 13 there is no bondage every chain is broken believe this gracious um delivering um freedom word go to galatians chapter 1 Galatians chapter 1 and verses, chapter 5 and verses 1. Yeah. Let us understand. I don't want to excite you. But you're crying you're, like I used to be crying every day. No hell. Why? This truth I didn't know. You're not guilty. Galatians 5 verse 1. You hear these words. It's not me speaking. He says it is for freedom. Mama, mama. Can you highlight that for me? Read the Bible yourself. No one will deceive you. It is for freedom that Christ, who? For freedom. The reason you're free is because of Christ. He has set you free from sin that leads to death, guilt, and shame. That means you're free from sin. You're free from death. You're free from curses. You're free from sorrow. You're free from witchcraft. You are free unless you take yourself back. How? By not believing. How? By not having faith. How? By sinning again. That's why he says, if you continue to sin, you are in a cage. That's it. We rejoice. They tell us rejoice when you're going to salvation. Hey, angels, yes. Because it is coming out of hell is not a joke that's why we say now listen to me there is no guilt there is no shame all my pain has been erased i want you to go to colossians 1 13 i ask you let us see this glorious healing powerful scripture even if you're still getting bad dreams believe it colossians 1 13 and leave it you call it i'm free hallelujah i was delivered be like me they were still calling me things i was singing songs i am free yes. you know yes sing let them hear that this baby girl is free hallelujah he says colossians 1 13 he says mm -hmm. let me start from um because of time i'm gonna start from 11 he says 
being strengthened with all power, according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. It says, and giving joyful thanks to our Father. Joyful thanks. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father God. Yes, 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 hallelujah. You set me free. Galatians 5 has told me. Paul has told me you set me free. Jesus delivered me from sin. I am no longer a murderer. I am no longer a prostitute. I am no longer a witch. I am no longer a liar. I am no longer a thief. I am no longer poor. I am no longer sorrowful. I no longer cry. You set me free. Yes, he could deceive you. You set me free. Yes, he might torment you. Yes, you set me free. He says thankfulness, thanking God in joy. Hallelujah. He says, who has qualified you to share? Now I'll come back next time to explain to you what it means to be qualified. Have you ever applied for a job? Mm -hmm. Did you qualify? Yes, I did. He qualified you free of charge. You're qualified. You are qualified to enjoy the inheritance of the kingdom of God. You're one with Christ. He says, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his glory, holy people, in the kingdom of light? Mama, mama, you are not in the kingdom of darkness. You are in the kingdom of light. He says, for he has rescued us. From the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins go and read it do you know we used to do history they tell you explain discuss elaborate in history class i used to be the one of the excellent kids in english and history and i know who deceived me that they did it but let me tell you something he says you are partakers of the inheritance of the kingdom of God. You belong with Jesus, his son, the one he loves. That means he loves you. He also says you are redeemed and your sins have been forgiven. Now, if you don't believe this great word, you are forgiven. If I'm forgiven, I'm free. Hallelujah. Whenever you went and made a mistake with your child and said, I'm so sorry, I won't do this again. Okay, you're free. You won't do it again. You're free. You're released now. Hallelujah. I'm free. Why? Because you are loved by God. Go and also read Isaiah 53 to help you understand why Jesus saves your life. Because he loves you. You are special. The child of God. I tell people that life is in the blood and everybody on earth has red blood. That means you are loved by Father God. You are a child of God. You are a seed of light. Today, wherever you are, raise up your hands. If you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, make a decision to stop sinning. Make a decision to receive this love and this grace. Go buy a Bible and read it and ask Jesus for a wonderful Bible-based church and find a good pastor to help you. May God bless you. My name is Rachel Gayla. Father, I give you praise. I release these your girls to you. I pray they share this video to help other girls that have been in spiritual bondage. There is no bondage. Every chain is broken. No guilt. I love you. Bye-bye.